What is up, Metalheads? In today's video, we are going to do an unboxing for you of Series 2, the second set of the Blackheart Enterprises Star Trek busts. And this is really exciting for me because my goal is going to be to go through and do a whole display at a show of the different Star Trek models. So hopefully I'll get to do that at some point. For those of you not familiar, Blackheart Enterprises, also known as Blackheart Models, is known for their model kits of horror, universal monsters, and other monsters and horror that we absolutely love. They do 1-1 one -one scale heads that you can mount on a wall that are really amazing and then the, in our part of the community they became really popular when they started doing what's called micromania which are the smaller busts that a lot of us know and love today and they're very very reasonably priced so definitely check it out on their site uh, that's blackheartmodels.com or you can feel free to email with any questions sorry let me make that a little clearer for you blackheartmodels.com or you can go ahead and email them at go blackheart at comcast.net Okay, so without further ado, let's show you these awesome busts that are out now. So these busts were sculpted this time around by Jeff Yeager. So these were done by Jeff Yeager. So I think he did the last ones too, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure he's the one that did the last ones too. But so that's the the sculptor. And the first one we're going to show you is Roddenberry. Okay, so those of you who are Star Trek fans... Are very should be very familiar with Gene Roddenberry and this is the guy himself the man the myth the legend in bust form in resin in about a one-tenth scale one ninth one tenth I forgot exactly but basically if you look at the size of my hand it's about the size of my hand there right and this part is so that it goes into the plinth but here he is very well detailed the hair looks really good captured the eyes really well it's got those hooded eyes i definitely think he captured them really well not that much prep work this is typical on the on the bus just in general is that there would be some kind of a mold line in the middle there and then this from the support being cut off so no worries on that but that is gene roddenberry very nice. I really can't wait to paint all of these. I'm, I'm like super de duper excited about them. Seriously. Next, we have Duhan, which uh, I believe was uh, Scotty, if I'm not mistaken. For those of you who are, you know, not familiar with the Blackheart model products, they always come with the plinths, which is something that really adds to the value of the models, you know, the bus when you purchase them. The busts range all in price from twenty to thirty dollars on the website. If you get the whole set of these four, it's a hundred dollars for you know, hundred dollars for the whole for all set of all four. But here is I believe this one's Scotty here. I'm bad with names, that's why I say that. So but here's there's that mold line I was telling you about, and then there's the mold line here on the neck. But other than that, there's not really that much other prep work that I'm seeing that needs to be done. These are very well cast. Actually, all of Blackheart Models busts are always very well cast. Absolutely love them. I've been painting Blackheart Models for a while. The great, oh my, George Takai. Very well done. I'm sure the great Sulu man would be very proud. The detail that was done on his face when he was all younger. I mean, even at his older age, he still looks really good, too. So over here, there's a little bit of a crack here but for with the uh, that might have happened in the casting process. But honestly, this is really easy to fix. You could do uh, what I usually do when I see a crack like this. I'll fill it with some glue just so that there's some kind of a strong reinforcement going on there. And uh, then I will put putty. I have like that plastic, the Vallejo plastic putty. I'll put that and then I will smooth it down so that way it just fills the crack. It doesn't like fill and pile up on the collar in this case, let's say. 
and then if you need to file it down or sand it then do that accordingly and it really doesn't take that long to do that at all I like also here in the I don't know if you how well you can see it here in the detail but they detailed his pores and his skin you see that Isn't that something now there is some prep work to do in this one in the ear on the side there but that's like a casting that's like bubbles that happen from casting sometimes with resin so just do keep that in mind and then that mold line part there but yeah this could happen from anything mind you he shipped out to me in texas so i mean the heat could have done it too texas heat really messes with stuff or even going from a cold place to a hot place you know like going from minnesota to texas that could really mess with stuff and here is bones look at that detail on that hair huh just a little bit of filing to do here on the chin that I'll have to do. And a little under the ear, a little filing. That's about it. Very well done. A little filing here on the snuff. That's just a piece of schmutz. The schmutz is gone. Same thing here with that little crack there. Put a little glue to reinforce. Thin glue. You can use thin glue if you want. And then a little bit of putty. Even that out. File it. Bam. Done mold line goes from up to the neck back here easy fix but aren't these nice absolutely love them they are the best so let me put them all out for you here's all four of them together taking a group photo just for you there we go Roddenberry Sulu Scotty Bones trying to group them together in such a way to make it easy there we go uh, we'll just have to we'll just have to that'll do donkey that'll do so here's all four of the guys here for you which one is your favorite let us know down in the comments below be sure to give this video a like and make sure to subscribe if you also like seeing unboxings of different products product demonstrations and also tutorials you can also check us out on the web find us at metalheadminis.com and you can also subscribe like i said and you can follow us also on twitch where we sit there and we stream three mornings a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So hope to see you soon. Hope you pick up these models. There's also a first set. If you go down a, a few, if you scroll down a few videos, you'll see me do the unboxing of the first set as well. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day.